Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to configure an Active Directory password policy. But before we get started with that, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server 2022, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm on a Windows Server 2022 uh, domain controller. We're gonna go to Server Manager. Uh, we can always find that by hitting the Start key or the search bar uh, if you're not already in it. We're gonna go to Tools and we're gonna go to Group Policy Management. Go ahead and minimize the Server Manager. And then if we go to Settings and we click Show All over here, we should be able to see our existing policy. And by default, these will have some variants, uh, kind of just depending on when your domain was created. And it's pretty easy to edit this. We can actually just right click on the default domain policy and click edit. And then to access the folder we want, we can click underneath policies, windows settings, security settings, and then account policies. And here is the password policy. Now the main ones that you're gonna to wanna to check, first of all, is that the password must meet complexity requirements. As we can see, this is enabled by default. Now if click properties and explain, um, this basically means that at least three of the four character sets are gonna be used in the password. Those being uppercase, lowercase, digits, and special characters. So we're gonna want that setting enabled. Now in terms of the other things that we can change, uh, we can change the minimum password length. I would advise to put this to 14. Now if we go to explain, uh, we can see we have a actual cap of 128. And my hesitancy with that is that you'll run into issues with applications that have a max character uh, password of 14. So I'm gonna hit apply and I'll hit okay. Now let's say you did wanna actually put it at 128 characters. Uh, you would have to go into relax minimum password length limits and you would have to check this box and hit enabled. Uh, I'm not gonna do that in this case, but that's what you would do to get um, all the way up to 128 characters. And then next in the maximum password age, uh, the max we can set this to technically is 999 days and then if we set it to zero it will set it to password never expires. Now you can change some of these other things if you want but we're going to go down to account lockout policy and what we can do is we can enable an account lockout threshold. So let's say somebody enters a password in um, for example five times in a row it's going to lock their account and then it's going to tell us right here that 30 minutes would be the time duration after the incorrect password uh, was entered five consecutive times. And we could change that lockout duration if we'd like. Uh, setting the value here to zero would basically indefinitely lock the account until an administrator unlocks it. Um, I'm generally okay with having this at 30 minutes. So hit apply and okay. All right, so now that we've configured the settings, we can close the group policy management editor and then right click on domain controllers. And then we're gonna go to uh, group policy update and we'll hit yes on the pop-up. And basically we've just uh, initiated an update on all of the uh, domain controllers with the updated uh, group policy. All right, now that we've done that, we can go back to our default domain policy and show all. And I'll go ahead and refresh. And then if I scroll down, we should be able to see that those uh, changes that we just made are now reflected here. So 14 characters for password, uh, zero days for the password age. And then again, everything else we kind of left as is. All right, and then uh, as a quick test, I'm gonna go back into my server manager here. Uh, I'll hit tools. And I'm just gonna pick a user and I'm gonna try to reset the password to something that doesn't meet the requirements. And if I click okay here, and there we go. Uh, the password does not meet the password policy requirements. Check the minimum password length, complexity, and history requirements. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you found the video helpful, we'd really appreciate a like, comment, subscribe, and share. And again, be sure to check that description below if you're interested in remote desktop licenses, Windows Server, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price. Feel free to drop any video ideas you might have in the comments below. And again, we thank you for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.